What's up guys? High Base 601 coming at y'all with two unboxing videos. One box has already been opened and and I got the package right here. So first what we're gonna do, we're gonna we're gonna actually not really unbox this, but it's already been opened. So we're just gonna go through and let, let y'all see the new products that I got for Blow Through at 150. Okay, so if you're new to the channel and you just now actually jumping in on me upgrading the Blow Through at 150, I recently had the truck and the box built in the truck about, I think maybe five years now. I think I done it like 2015, 2016, I'm not quite sure. But I think that's when it was. So. I've been playing four SS 910s on a blow through on a high funnic brew that's 2400 for quite some time. Doing major demos, I mean, for a long period of time. So, so finally, I get to a problem to where one of my subs actually was, it was actually coning and making a funny noise for a long period of time when I play like 20 hertz and down. So I kind of avoid playing Lord Notes because it was one speaker back that kind of overcome. Okay, so here's the Sundown Classic SA10 that I'm going to be replacing the sub that's bad in my truck. So I'm only replacing one sub and I'm gonna replace it with this one right here. If you go back and look at the previous videos, I will leave a link at the end of this video so you can catch up on the troubleshooting that I did to find out which one of the four tens that was bad and then go back to when I initially, <clears throat> excuse me, when I initially tore the box down to basically find out like what was going on with it and basically dead. So right now I'm going to actually show y'all this one sub here. And the difference is, Sundown has actually, Sundown has actually, hold on a second. Okay guys, Sundown has actually did two things that kind of had me freaking out. I'm gonna keep it real. They have upped the RMS on the Classic, the SA Classic. They have, they have upped the RMS. And number two, my, my magnet on my subs are chrome. Okay, so here's the new sub that's basically the same sub, but they just changed the specs on it. And I called Sundown and got one of the guys on the phone personally and asked him and told him what I had and asked him what I have a problem with actually putting this sub in line with the rest of them. And he told me I'll be fine. Well. This new sub supposed to host 750 watts RMS. RMS. The subs I got in my truck when I bought them, they initially said 600 watt RMS. But on the website that I bought this speaker from, and I got this speaker off Amazon, uh, Woofer, Woofer ETC, that's where I got this sub from. Because I kinda was thinking like, if it's the wrong sub, I needed a way that I can ship it back quick as possible. You know, Amazon, when it comes to returning stuff, you can return stuff back quick through Amazon. You know what I mean? So that's that's why I did that. Uh, for the most part, I mean, best to believe I would have got it from uh, Down for Sound. So that's what I was mainly worried about on that part right there. And um, so let me get this stuff. I'll let y'all look at it. it it's, it's actually the same weight, same thickness, magnet is basically the same as the uh, the ones that I took you know, that I have, but the only difference is you can see it's black. You can see it's black, and like I said, it's the same exact sub. So this is the new sub that's going to replace the blown sub and blow through up 150. Now I know y'all probably saying uh, upgrade to some bigger subs. You know what I mean? Or put forward three, get put four these in there. But I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. Like I said, I got three subs that plays fine. I'm going to put this this one with those and, uh, and go from there. Now, my plan is 
My plan is um, to actually break this up in just a little bit, a couple of hours. I'm gonna hook it to my T-Bird 5 Pro, just like y'all saw me do the, the, the four when I was trying to troubleshoot and find out the one that was bad. So I'm gonna hook this one sub and um, actually just let it flop, you know, a few, just a few minutes. Let it cycle a little bit, you know what I'm saying? I mean, when you're breaking a sub in, you can never be satisfied enough to know that it's gonna be compatible with, with all the rest of them. That just had to happen in time. So enough with the S8 Classic 10. So this is the one that's gonna replace, replace the bad one. We're gonna get that out of the way. And now we're gonna unbox the amp. We're gonna unbox the amp. And we're just gonna use this for a little platform. So here's the amp. Order from Down for Sound. JP. If y'all have not watched, I mean I'm pretty sure y'all have seen a lot of JP stuff on YouTube and on several channels, but if you never saw me and him collab in videos, you know, check out my YouTube channel, check out his. Uh, he got a video on there of Blow Through F-150 when I first got Blow Through, blow, excuse me, when I first got Blow Through F-150 in uh, install build and did. He got a demo of that. And like I said, I got several videos on my channel of him from like a long time ago. Okay, yeah, back to what I was saying. Uh, if y'all wanna see a couple videos, man, like I said, just go to uh, my YouTube channel, or JP YouTube channel, and just type in Hobby 16 on YouTube. So, I know y'all really can't see, but, let's see here, cardboard, that, Boys, Got the invoice here. So y'all, sure y'all probably already know what this amp is. So um, we're just gonna go ahead and take it out. Of course, it's a sundown amp. Got that. And I actually already got one of these, but it's in gray. I appreciate that, JP. You know I just love that red. I can rock that red. That's what's up. I got a black and gray one just like that. Sent me some. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that, JP. What am I gonna do with that? What's this? Financing, financing, like that. Just the right size. I was hoping it wouldn't be big. Before it's lanyard. All right. All right, so this is what I was curious about. The voltmeter. Y'all know I gotta hook this little voltmeter up and see what it's working with, but I don't know what I'm gonna put it in. Don't know what I'm gonna put it in. And so here we have a base knob also. And I don't think I'm gonna run a base knob. I ain't gonna run no base knob. Just gonna use what I have. But it does have a clipping light on it. But if you ask me, when you're playing different songs, you're gonna clip anyway. But I mean, I guess it will be able to tell you each song, you can actually keep it clean, so. Uh, 
we I just hate to have two two controls, but I'm gonna run my three out. Side. Alley wrenches. All right, so here's the amp. It is a Sundown SFB 8K. Pretty much what I expected. I mean, because I like I said, I kind of looked at a couple of videos on it. Two grounds and two hots. Y'all see that? And the good thing is, what I like about it, the remote separates the ground and the power. It actually separates it. And you got, you know, I just love it. Controls. Mm. It has a power light, clip light, and a protect light. Uh, has the hertz, 15 to 80 hertz, 80 to 20k. So basically, you could actually run this amp off. You could actually use this amp on mids and highs basically what it looks like. So I'm just gonna show you the controls on it here. If y'all can see it. Up close. And I forgot to show y'all the two fans. It has two fans in it. One on each side. That's cool. And of course, you guys know if y'all follow JP, y'all saw the autograph sign that he did autograph before me. So, next plan, um, what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, today, today is Friday. I just picked this amp up today for UPS. So, today is Friday. Tomorrow is Saturday. My plan is I'm going to start wiring the subs up, getting the subs back mounted, putting the amp in. So once I put the amp in, um, only thing that's gonna left to do then is actually strengthen the box, double layer the top, put braces in it, put like a trim around the edge of the box to be able to bolt down, bolt the top, the second, the second layer down, and and after that, I will be waiting on my previous box builder to actually uh, assist me and help me strengthen the box. So let me say something. Uh, I really thought about this before it's doing the box. I can actually do it myself. I really can actually do it myself, but it's kind of like, to me, um, I pay my installer to, to design the box off of my specs, the way I wanted it. And somehow that fell short over the years. So when I came, you know, when I brought, when I come back and put that galvanized pipe in the middle with the brace with the barber dog on it, the only reason I added that because my top box was flexing. So at this point, it's like you see a problem and then when you gotta go back in to correct it, you know what I'm saying? It's got to be fixed. So like I said, I could do it myself, but at the same time, uh, I want him to assist me on doing it right the second time. If y'all follow what I'm saying. So, uh, We'll cut you back on when I get to installing the subs and hooking the amp up. And then after that, you know, it'll be the rest, the rest to actually finish. So until then, um,
We will pick up where we left off on that part.